Bliev. Okay. Today's big transfer. This is transformation day, everyone. Please gather around and let's watch. USB DAC there. USB DAC there. USB DAC here and USB DAC there. Top of my foobar, four buttons. I press it and it'll select each USB DAC and it's fine. Problem is when I go to add a new device like this to that laptop, which is my review laptop, the drivers that this takes probably match up with one of those four. And when that happens and it's like install the driver for this to work, you do and it's like C Media device, you've installed the drivers and then this stops working. And it's a fucking nightmare. Because I have to uninstall the thing I'm trying to review. Then I've tried to reinstall that. That doesn't work. So I gotta like uninstall like every driver. It's drivers suck. Drivers suck. And I'm seeing a trend, and it's actually more prevalent now than almost ever, is where almost every DAC will have fiber optic as an option. And you know, usually you're like, well, yeah, but then I gotta use my onboard audio, and then it's fine. It's fucking fine. This, re this video is going to be long, and it's going to have a lot of cursing in it, because I'm going to climb behind this lovely thing that I've, I've built. If I can get this to move properly. Come on. Wearing my nice comfy pants. And we're going to replace everything here that is running a, a USB with fiber optic. I have, I bought two things. I bought this three-way fiber optic splitter. So one fiber optic in, three out. It came with four decent, just decent six foot optical cables. I bought one very decent Amazon Basics optical cable. And because if I'm replacing all of these with fiber optic inputs, I need something that has fiber optic output. My laptop does not have a fiber optic output. But the Mica Origin G2 does. There it is. Look at it. Proudly sh beaming red. So I bought, after searching, I said, wait, what? Mica makes one? So Micah makes a gold connected, which doesn't make a fucking difference at all. Gold connected three and a half millimeter to standard optical. And then I bought, so I bought a, th a one to three, but that's not gonna be enough. So here is a one to five, which is now going to take over as a distribution hub of all the signals for all of my DACs, just like Minecraft. When you run the pipes and the lava can get to all these different mods and you got build craft and tinkers tools all so this is going to be the main hub of converting all audio i need one device just one device is going to be plugged into this computer the one device is going to be the origin g2 it's already working like if i play it actually is playing and you can see oh beautiful this is going to sit there it's going to output to this box and every one of these well, as soon as I power it, because it requires a USB micro, no, USB mini, USB mini power is even an on-off switch for whatever reason. So this is going to distribute to the four DACs that live here, and it's going to have one extra, and that one extra will come out to my desk for when I want to review things like the Gishelli, Gishelli Labs uh, DAC, which is only SPDIF. And hopefully if I get multiple DACs, I could hook them all up because... I'll be able to hook this splitter onto the output from this splitter, and we'll have three here, and everything is, we no drivers anymore. You understand that I'm just gonna go on and on about that I don't have to have drivers? I don't have to worry about the, the Emotiva, which is ancient drivers, and how hard it is to install on a Windows 7 machine, and the Aoun, which is like, you can't find them anymore, and I had to have a backup in my Telegram. And then the Sanskrit Pro, which is another pain in the ass to find drivers for that specific one. And the JDS Labs OL deck, which I've never even tried an optical. Which, by the way, this only works because that one, that one, that one, and that one all take an optical input. Shit, we have to actually get to work now. All right, step one: manipulate monitor. I put this beautiful arm in. You think I would use it more? I'm going to turn this 
forward. I mean, I don't need to see it. But it's nice to see that this arm is just fucking amazing. We gotta step over some stuff. XLR is coming from the GORAC. The power plug here comes from the distribution under there, which is coming from the wall, which is coming from the kilowatt edge. This moves over. Look at these mica cables. Oh. Actually, no. Is it mica cables? Yes. Whew. They're so pretty. Put them on the floor. I just need to be able to walk over here. Got this, we've got more stuff for the base X. That, here's my recording interface that I use for my microphone on my gaming computer, which here's my gaming computer. That's where I use my gaming computer. Oh, oh, oh. It's, you're coming to a magical land of mystery and intrigue. And basically the first step is to just strip all the USBs. They're all, they're all on currently and they no longer have to be. So you're done. That's that one. You're done. Where the hell do you, are you agreeing plugged in? That's another thing is like the own would not work on this USB hub. Here's a USB hub. Everything else worked in it, the own would not. So, take that out. And if you swapped USB plugs, nothing worked. So, a bit of inspiration coming. One. One down. There's two. Make sure I unplug the correct thing. All right, here's two. And I'm going to power those spit of distributors off of this hub because they're just going to take power. Zeus lives in the wires. He, he breathes the wires. There's two. Okay, next one. What do we got? The Sanskrit down here. Oh. Now, one of the negatives of not going USB is you won't be able to run higher than 24... One, 190, no, 2492, I think, is the stock, like, maximum you can with fiber optic. That's fine. You can't run DSD through fiber. And that's fine too. That's three. And the last one is actually out over here. Comes up. And that's four. There you go. Now the fun part starts. Which, can I even get here? Can I even? Can I even? Well, that's a good shot. outputs to here from there so that's covered there's a little bit of dust let me a little bit of dust just a touch a tiny little taste of dust not the good dust from ruby but you could sell and smuggle the bad dust from earth okay put that back those dusts on this episode of Mad Science Hour. It's early, I'm tired. I just want to get this done. I want to get it done as cleanly and neatly and amazingly as possible. Here's a giant own power bricks sit here. And I actually have to get a little flashlight, I think. Because there's no fucking way I can read where everything's gotta go on that. X XDA. Cute cat. Claris. Claris. Explain why the Claris is my pick for best flashlight. Third one down. It's gonna flop, isn't it? Alright. So what do we got? Coaxial out, coaxial in. Coaxial out. It's not what I want, optical. So I'm gonna go and grab all the cables. Boom. We're gonna give everything its due and I'm gonna hopefully not lose my mind in the process. Two, and I straighten these out overnight, hanging them from the door frame so they're actually less curly than they were. They were really curly. Three, four. So this is the good, 
Shelly Labs inspiring me to say, fuck it. I'm just tired of installing drivers. I'm gonna get the next deck I get, it's just not gonna have it. So like the Jotunheim, I have to have to use that USB. I have to. I have to use a USB. And it'll be like, ugh, I gotta use this USB. I'm trying not to trip over these wires also, by the way. So where are we looking? I guess we should do this one first. Come here, flashlight. So I put you there, and then I point you at the wall, which will require me to rotate you like that. I put you up to the maximum brightness instead of that. There. Yeah. How is that not the best flashlight of the group? Optical one, right? So stack the own power bricks for a second, or forever. Oh, oh, I did bad. See, this did a bad thing. And it will not matter. Here's another thing. It doesn't matter which wire is which. You don't have to write it down. I don't have to know. You just have to plug it in. Here's one. Oh, God, I'm going to have to find these afterwards. Let's do... Two is here. I'm going down. I also want to do another thing to this um, the panda stack, which someone's like, when are you going to sell the panda stack? When your mom buys it. I'm never selling the panda stack. It's too cool. Which I could probably plug this in when I jank the panda stack out. There's also no reason that these optical connectors have to have a top or bottom, but they fucking designed it in. So, congratulations. You suck. That's two. Alright, the third one is right here. Use the own. The own. Go under everything because it is on the bottom. Just remember that. Remember, they didn't have to make these in one orientation. They did it because they hate you. And the fourth one, it will be way, way easier to do from just like right here because this is where this sits. And it doesn't have to sit out. I could probably figure out a new way to place this. But for now, this is what we're doing. So let's put that back there. Oh God. Okay, down and over and over and across. You can all go back into boxes. These are the finest of the USB cables I had. They did fine work. Now, <clears throat> The problem comes with distribution and mounting. Let me go get let me go get the secret weapon of this entire day. Plug you in. I'm gonna need blue tack or fun tack, depending on if you want to buy into the marketing hype. And a bunch of Velcro connectors. Velcro ties at least. One of them doesn't need to go, this one has to go on the back. Where am I distributing, distributing this shit from? I've already used two reams. Some in my car, and some to hold together the own stack. Look at the own stack, I can pick it up by this. Oh god, Megamine's hat. It's all blue tacked together. She can't lose her hat, that's where her power lives. Please tell me the little thing didn't fall off the end, oh god. This is gonna make a mess. You know what? You stay there. Where's the origin going? Because the origin is getting plugged in directly just so I don't have a hub to deal with. I can actually shut it off and this should error. Yes, it does. Does it need this cable? This is one of the nicer cables I've ever seen. Possibly not. Boom. So glad I got a rolling rack that could turn and I could work on it so much nicer. Yeah, that's not happening today. What am I stuck on? Other than Shinobu. Fuck. Fuck. Okay. I think what I'm gonna end up doing is placing this, because this is where it's going permanently. It's going right there. 
So I can still use it as an or origin, just like literally it is an origin DAC. What are you? You're... You are ex I know exactly what you are. You're the go rack, which has the wire coming down because you're plugged in over there. Tuck that in. Now we've got, so here's the origin. Where are we mounting? Where are we mounting that distribution hub? <sighs> Behind everything, I guess. This is just dusting. He's look, I'm a little old lady. I gotta make sure the dust is clean. Clean all the dust. Of course, I just threw money and everything on the floor. That's fine. That's how this goes. What fucking remote control are you? I'm bad. Zeus has to stop dusting because he's just destroying his whole goddamn world. Oh. Tiak. Oh, you gotta be for the, uh... Wow, I would never have found that. I'm glad I threw everything on the floor. It actually hurts to stand on just one leg I'm bouncing. I'm not getting rid of many wires. I'm just adding much longer ones. Okay. This has to go. I'm just gonna put a piece of, put a couple chunks of blue tech on the back of it. Because it has, I can't have it just floating back there. I refuse to have shit just floating. All right, fold. Do the corners, we'll do opposite corners. I'm gonna set it to on, because why would it even never, why would it ever need to be off? Why would it ever, ever need to be off? Once it's in place, by the way, we should have the ability, I say we as in the community we, we should have the ability to run every single amp and DAC at the same time. Uh, these caps really do go in there well. Now, am I going to try to bundle these up so they're not as long with the Velcro straps or just let them like drape. I don't mind if they drape, I just care if, they, if the hub is loose. So here's one, and there's two. So it's out, out. We need this one. It's coming in, going down. That's what I'm in already. Where's missing? It's missing. Urine, urine, <laughs> urine. Gregorin. This guy. They are headed out. Here's the other two. I love that. Real men do it like that. Like that. Okay. I got this out. I got this out. So now I could stick this somewhere. However, I do want the final main output, which is this nicer quality Amazon Basics cable. <clears throat> I've unplugged it already, right? Good. So there you go. There's a full five-way distribution of fiber optic. I do need to have the input, however, also plugged in. So this is what's going to go to the mica, which is in place. So I'm going to plug this in. It's pretty goddamn heavy. Where am I sticking this? On the wall? Just blue tack it to the fucking wall. This one's got a lot of twist in it. Undo that. So if anything goes wrong, it's probably a fiber optic connection. Now. Not drivers. Not anything stupid. Here's my power. I need this to be able to come up here. So that's sort of like a limiting factor. Alright. I'm going to place this awkwardly right here on this shelf. And the blue tack <clears throat> will hold it down permanently. That's it, it's done. Blue tack is the best. I could get a longer cord. Are you kidding me? Do I actually need a longer cord? All right, stock cord's not long enough. That means we gotta go into the magic box of 
<clears throat> way too many USBs than no one else. No one should have this many USBs in a box. Box of USBs. Which is hidden in this secret layer. It usually helps if you yell at it. Like, I need mini. Oh, there you go. That's not helping. How about you? Perfect. Back into it. They say you'd never make it in life. They were right. But you have all the USB cables. So who's laughing now? Yeah, do, wired. I know what you're all saying. Zeos, do cable management. I don't enjoy cable management. I understand the benefit of it, but I've had to redo all this so many times over every like, I don't know. I don't know how, many, how much time is in like a year, three months. I had to come back here and fuck things up. Change these wires, make sure these wires are good. Check the plug, change, add equipment, lower equipment, raise it, raise and lower equipment. So we should be on. Actually, we now got to plug in. The mica cable is dangling to the floor. Okay, so now you go here. And then the one that's the good Amazon Basics cable has to come up and be accessible from the desk side. I can lay there and then go here. Move these the other side, get them straight. The goal is to have this not flop behind this. So I have to do all this shit again, especially if I've got speakers up on the desk. This becomes impossible to be where I'm standing. What are we looking at? Well, it's not lit up. Did I have the switch off? Or did this thing just show up dead? Huh. sort of sucks, doesn't it? There's no light in anything. Oh, because that's off? And I flipped the switch and it probably was already in the on position. <sighs> yes! Okay. So here we have that. Here's our Mica Origin of Distribution. Here's our light thing. Here's our fucking label printer. We don't need that. Let's fix the stack real quick because I can't take it anymore. I can't take when those things get out of like whack, like they currently are completely out of whack. I should have the space to at least get them lined up. So now you're super important, baby. Sit on top of the dark voice. I need a good clean rag. Oh, there's dust between every layer. Every layer has got dust, which is not going to help us. How? How do you get dust between like eighth inch apart units? Where's my flashlight? Ooh, this thing gets hot. It's hot, hot, hot. Shut it off. Word of advice, if you have a shit stack, if you have a panda stack, which you don't, because I'm the only one that has a panda stack, what you do is you make four little, they're not balls, you just fold and pull and fold and pull. You want four three eighths by three eighths plates. Squares, I guess just calling them squares would be the best course of action. Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say, huevo. Huevo. This one's too big. Put that back in the pile. Well, actually, we're gonna need more than four because we're going. Here's what we're doing. We're taking this top one, moving it away for a second. Right on the rubber feet. Squish it to the back of the rubber foot. You want some on the bottom, you want some on the back. Same thing there. We're not trying to make it go up much. We're just trying to make it so it doesn't slide. 
You don't have to push it in a great deal. You're just using the feet as like an anchor point. And these are actually giant chunks of this shit and I didn't need to use this much, but fuck it. And then you put it down as straight as you can and then squeeze. Wiggle and squeeze till it's nice and thin. And now those two won't move. Well, let's do it again. One, go a little bit smaller this time. Two, and by stretching the blue tack, you also get it to be a little bit tackier. Like it doesn't come off your fingers at that point. Okay, so lift right here, look, on the back. Because you don't want to see the blue tack, and you will. You're basically putting it so that there's just a little bit on the actual foot and a big hunk of it behind it. And it's all gonna work beautifully. I've got an SA60 amplifier on the center console of my car, my big fast car. And guess what doesn't move because I have a glue down with blue tack. Line it up. Now it's gonna be malleable and it's gonna be able to come off at any point. And I'm also going to do, I don't want it sliding back and forth on the Emotiva. So whatever I have left here, I should be able to get actually four of them out of this. It's just going to be a pain in the ass to get underneath it. So now I'm just making them even. A little less than that one. Get down on your knees. We've actually shifted over this foot from it sliding so much. That won't happen now. One. Two. Three. And you're all counting with Zeos. One of Zeos' least favorite things is working under stuff. Bending down to do it. That's all. That's it. We're done. Now if Zeos takes a headphone, here we go. And he goes to plug it in to the panda stack. The panda stack does not move. Blue tack, motherfuckers. Blue tack! Now I still need to move this thing around. I didn't mean to put those on. Whoop. But here we go. I might even throw a chunk of it under this. Yeah, why not? Why not? You could do a rolly thing. Here, instead of putting dots, since this thing has weird feet, we're just gonna put a big hunk of it there and somewhere in the back where I think the ass of it is. There. Put it down. It's okay if it's too big and you have to squish it. That's the best part. There we go. Now there could be an earthquake and that shit won't go anywhere. And this I have to change out to a better, a better switch dimming solution for my main review lights. Another ream of Blue tech gone at this expensive cost of $2.50 at my local place. That's, I can't afford to keep using this stuff. It's just gonna bankrupt me. And it won't leave scuffs or marks or anything. The whole point of it is it works on paper on walls and it just comes off clean. So feel free to throw it on everything you got. So much for bringing the Velcro ties. Let's, I guess we gotta test to see if this works now. So switch everything over to optical. You, I think you're optical. You are now optical. This is optical. That's it. That's it. Everything should now work. <sighs> Do I have a hair, pair of headphones? I'm gonna put all those cables back in. It's a good set of headphones to test with. Come here, babies. 
you get ignored a lot and you shouldn't because you're amazing so k712s spin this around like it's the goddamn matrix morpheus is fighting neo of course i took a screenshot don't need that so now the mic origin was already the device which turned off and then back on the Emotiva clicked over to 44.1 because I'm using Wasapi. The important part is that I'm using Wasapi and it's still working. For all these DACs, well that DAC is getting it and then it's distributing. So I should be able to... Sorry, Megumin. Plug into... Well, literally fucking anything. Let's... I have to turn this on if I want to test the Emotiva. And I gotta turn this on if I want to test this but this one playing fine okay so that works that works I slide this over a bit so I get a little more room I never put blue tack to have this go down I just slid it put blue tack in so it wouldn't move too much so that stack works oh this is preamping through this so I need to go that has to come on and then that'll preamp down to that and it'll work. Oh, Westworld. Painted black. How perfect. Everything works. Fucking miracle. Now, I want to change. I have to change songs to test something, but I'm not going to for another second because Westworld painted black. The uh, literally now every amp will play at the same time. Every one of them. And should I want to go pop it back straight up in the origin? High gain. So now we're running with Soppy, so I should be able to put it. What was that one album that sucks? It doesn't suck, it just has like 88.2, which this will support. Strutton. Arnie Dominus, there it is. 88.2 is playing. 88.2 is playing. That's better. I'm done here. Well, I'm probably gonna get the blue tack back out and make the own stack not slide. But, uh, relatively painless, minus my back hurts from bending, but relatively painless getting one USB device. One. Only one USB device. Hell, I don't even know what the hell these are going to anymore. Here's the, here's the origin. That's plugged in direct. These are the extra ones I have hanging down. We're done. I don't have to worry about drivers ever again. Fucking it up. Look. Passing 88.2. I have a 24-bit demo folder. Let's see if that works. 24-bit samples. Club Descara. 96 kilohertz. Oh my god, I love the base X. Did I ever mention how much I love the base X? Fuck. Okay. That went.
swimmingly. Like I was worried that there was going to be like, oh, when you play 96, it's not going to work. You play 120, 92. It just works. It just works. Thank you for joining me on this. I just needed the emotional support of people in the future being able to see this and going, good job, Zeos. You don't have to say that, but it doesn't hurt. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. Very, very cool. Very cool, Rich Evans. Very cool. Very, very cool. All right, I'm going to blue tack my own stack from sliding around. And nothing else moves because it's a million pounds. Thanks. Links to everything, obviously, in the description. Uh, I'll link to the triple with the four cables because or else these cables are like seven dollars a pop for the good amazon basics ones and it would have cost me a whole lot more if i had to buy seven of these or i would have had to have bought five of these instead of one so yeah save me on four cables because it's like 17 dollars with four cables so i'll link you to the three because i'm probably you probably only have three dax i'm just a lunatic and i have to have five dax or four and an extra and uh, I'll link to the 5, and I'll link to the Mica cable, and I'll link to the Origin G2, because that is what I've chose. That handles all the frequencies I give a shit about. So it'll work with everything I have. And it'll just help put fiber optic, and everything works. I've never had them all lit up before. I just need this lit up. There we go. Let's fuck it. Let's put on the goddamn label maker, too! Everything's on! Just had a nipple hardening. I'm serious, my nipples got hard from this thought because I bought these a long time ago and I did a little video on them and the Calrad vintage Japanese VU meters. And I was always planning on buying, on building a thing that would hold them to show me my levels. And I was either going to be in the home theater or somewhere. But the problem is you have to use this, which I just got out of a box yesterday. I'm setting up for the Gashelli Labs DAC review. You get this, and it, it, like it's, it's a cheap Chinese driver thing, and you have to split the signal. Because this doesn't run on the power signal, it runs on like the RCA signal. So if you had a DAC and an amp, it would have to go in between these two and split off to a thing. And I was having some issues where there was noise, and I, I couldn't bring myself to add these beautiful fucking things with this mess in the middle. But I just realized something, because I'm putting this at the end of the video where I switched everything to spit up, blah, 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 blah. That origin is USB in and optical out, digital to digital conversion. But these front ports, these headphone ports, I'm watching the VU on top blink purple. And it's blinking purple, that's great. And they'll blink purple for that amp, and that amp, and that amp, and that amp, and this amp. It's feeding out to this DAC to this amp, that VU meter is working for everything. So why can't I get those VU meters to work for everything? And I can now. I literally fucking can now. I'm going to plug into the three and a half millimeter headphone out. Because this, re this requires here, here look, here it is. Oh, look at little baby. Look at a little shit, piece of shit. It's been years. I'm gonna wire into this. I'm gonna mount these somewhere possibly here or here somewhere I could do pretty maybe up here I don't know but the point is this is a it's going digital and it's got its own analog side which I'm gonna be able to tap into to make those VU meters work for everything they'll be working and I could adjust a lot here's the best part here's the best part there's pots on this to adjust sensitivity and you usually would set it and it would be different per thing but I've got a volume pot right here so I'm gonna be able to set those up Max out whatever amp, set that, and it just, the, the actual VU meters are going to fucking work. Like, zero is going to be, don't go higher than zero, you're pushing. I'm just cascading just directions. Just So, uh, there will be another video, probably Mad Science Hour, maybe I'll do it on stream, I'm not sure, stream link in the description, where I get these vintage Calrad VUs up and running on my main review desk Japan up and running on my main review desk permanently for every device for every possible device the only time it wouldn't work is if I had another USB device plugged in that's elite o'clock motherfucker all right one more thing yeah I know I showed them the pictures of these these finally showed up today so here's the three-way splitter 
that will come off of the desk if I want to do DAC shootouts. And here are the mono, mono price. God bless mono price because that is a metal head, like a machined aluminum head. It's got a permanently attached cap. And they just look like if you take the mono price name off this and you put anybody else's name on there, you could just charge like, oh, it's a $200, $200 fiber optic. Because it's going to keep it going solid. Yeah, these are the best made cables ever. Just ridiculous. They're heavy. They're like, hold on. Oh. That's why I buy things so I don't have to borrow them and do that. So yeah, that was it. That's the end of this video now. The final piece has arrived. Put you over here. Uh, we'll see if that one works also at some point. Now I'm going to get to work on this. So, bye. Telegram. Telegram, join it.